Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. We're glad you're here. It is Thursday, and as uh, we speak, you know, we're working on uh, the John and Romans here at the church. Uh, there are several people here. Many of us are working. I've been working since 10 o'clock and earlier, uh, collating scripture. Uh, 15,000 plus will be done by the end of this, uh, this Saturday afternoon. It'll be mailed into Canal Winchester, into every home and business in Groveport. And so we're praying and trusting God to help us as we get the message out of, of the gospel. And so uh, let's pray and uh, we'll look here in the word of God here this afternoon. Father, we thank you for the day you've given. And Lord, our prayer is that you'd help us, encourage our hearts. Oh, Lord, may we look to thee in all things. God, give us your guidance, grace, and help. And uh, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to our weekday family devotions. Let's go ahead and open our Bibles to Isaiah chapter number 35. Isaiah chapter 35. This is an amazing, uh, an amazing chapter of God's Word. Although there's only 10 verses, uh, excuse me, I thought I was going to sneeze. Uh, though there's only 10 verses of Scripture here, it speaks concerning uh, the coming kingdom of Christ and uh, how, how Israel will be, will be ransomed. And I mean, there are, there are promises. Look at what he says in verse three, says strengthen ye the weak hands and can, um, and confirm the feeble knees, uh, say to them that are of a, of a fearful heart, be strong, fear not, behold, uh, behold, your God will come with ven with vengeance, even God with a, with a recompense, he will come and save you. Aren't you thankful uh, for that promise? He is coming to save his people. And uh, today, of course, as we, as we labor putting together these John and Romans, this, these, this presentation of the gospel, um, why are we doing this? Because the Lord's coming back. He's coming back uh, to redeem his purchased possession. And, and our prayer is that many will be saved as a result of the word of God going forth uh, from this local church. But uh, we're thankful that we have the promise of the coming Savior. Uh, the next time uh, the Lord comes, he's not going to have to die. He, he, won't, he won't shed his blood. He won't spill his blood for our sin. Oh, no, he's coming uh, to rule and reign uh, with, with might and with power. And he's coming for his children. And uh, I want to encourage you today, if you don't know the Lord is your Savior, I, wanna, I want you to realize that God loves you. Uh, I want you to know that the Bible says that God loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten Son. Uh, whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life because you and I are sinners. We could not get to heaven on our own. The Bible says, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, and that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And in order to obtain salvation, it's not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy that he saved us. And the Bible says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And today, if you're struggling and, and you just have an uneasy feeling in your, in your soul uh, concerning your salvation, I, I encourage you to, to do what the Bible says and repent and be saved. And to turn to the Lord, turn from sin, turn from self-effort, and trust completely uh, in the finished work of Jesus Christ because He's coming again. Your God will come with vengeance, even God with a recompense. He will come and save you. Father, we're thankful for the day you've given. And Lord, our prayer is that you'd help us live in light of your return. Uh, Lord, we pray for those we know and love who, uh, who may not know where they'd spend eternity. Lord, we pray that they would turn to Christ today. But Father, we ask that you meet with us. Lord, use us for your glory. Help these John and Romans as they're published from this place. God, we ask that they would go forth with your power and uh, save the lost. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you for joining us. Lord willing, we'll see you back here tomorrow at noon. Don't forget, we're working again tomorrow on these John and Romans beginning at 10 a.m. Lunch is provided by the church, and they'll have a great time of fellowship along the way. God bless you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.